Hi there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this quick video, I want to, this is, by the way, this is completely off the cuff. Somebody had asked me, how might you create technical articles using uh, AI tools like Shortly? Um, they're, they're frustrated. A lot of the tools out there, it's difficult to get this content. Uh, and sometimes maybe that's Shortly included, but I'm just going to experiment here and see what I can come up with. The particular question was about how to add HTTP security headers to WordPress. Uh, I'm not going to completely create an article here in front of you. I'm going to try and show you how you might get technical type content from this tool. Um, because, yeah, it, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Uh, I'm going to start off with it sort of pre-filled like this because I don't want to waste too much of your time while you just watch me type. Basically, what I've done so far, I haven't hit any AI yet. This is all me writing all this. In the article brief over here to the left, I have write about how to add HTTP security headers to WordPress. You know, nothing fancy. Uh, I do explain a little bit next after that, uh, what that means. These headers tell the browser about the security of the website. Nothing fancy there either. I could probably do a better job of explaining these headers and things like that to the AI so that it can better produce this content for me. But this is an experiment. This is an example and let's just see what happens. At the title, uh, it's the same, adding HTTP security headers to WordPress, nothing more. If you understand the context in shortly, that means that if I were to come right here right now at the end of these headers, like at the end of the sentence, then I hit write for me. It means that everything in the article brief, the title and everything above that cursor right here is going to go over to the AI to get content that I hope is you know, useful for the article I'm writing. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're just going to use the plain old write for me. We're not going to use an instruct command just yet. Let's just see what happens. And hopefully it's something nice and technical that will work for an article like this. Wow. Okay. It's already doing a pretty good job. Um, let's move on and talk a little bit about... Um, sort of the force or to use HTTPS, um, probably one of the more important. Uh, hmm. Well, it talks about HTTP strict transport mode, HSTS, uh, glancingly. So let's, let's say something like um, HSTS is probably, of course, this is my opinion, one of the most important headers for security in WordPress. Well, in the on the web technically, but we'll say in WordPress since this article is about WordPress. Let's see, to use it. And then let's just see what the AI comes up with. All right. Not too shabby. Let's see if we can do something about uh, using uh, inst the instruct command. So if you recall, I could do it this way. Uh, I could type out the command, right? Like this, hit a square bracket and type in everything I want. Uh, I'm gonna do it, what I th would, re would prefer, I think most would prefer is um, a more streamlined way is to just write there in the content as you're writing, just write out what you're gonna ask the AI. So let's see, let's explain how to use the, is it X, I think it was right there, yep, X frame options header in WordPress. I have no idea if this will work, but basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight all this, and then I'm gonna hold Shift, Command, Enter, and what that'll do is it'll keep the instruct command there visible, but bring the content afterwards. This will give me the opportunity to rerun it or do something different if I wanted to. Okay, so it's explaining what it is and shortly is asking for what I think of the output. I'm going to say it's okay. Um, it's not good. It's not bad, but it's not what um, it's not what I'm asking for really, right? Explain how to use this options header in WordPress. Let's take out header. Let's see. Explain how to use and let's just see 
again, control shift enter. Let's just see what instruct will bring us. I could probably not use instruct here. I'm just trying to see if we can. Hmm. Well, it's getting into some problems that it has. I'd say that this is better output than it was. So let's take, let's enter that. Um, okay, let's take this away. And let's, we can, I guess we can leave the context. All the context above this stuff is about headers and stuff. It's not specifically about X frame options, but it is about headers. So we can probably just leave it. So let's do this to set up, set up, set up <laughs> uh, the X frame options header in WordPress. You must, and let's just see what the AI brings us. Okay, it's so going through some options. Uh, I've never actually done this myself. This could be true. I hope it is. Um, if you're a WordPress expert and you you find this is not true, well, uh, fix it because. Um, that's one of the things that you're just going to have to do with these AI tools is whether it's a technical thing like this or it's a, a fact or a statistic or something, you, you have to double check the, the AI's work. You can, think of the AI as kind of like that junior writer, you know, the new person on the team that, you know, they're enthusiastic, they're writing hard, you know, fast, working hard, and bringing you content as quickly as they can. And, you know, maybe sometimes they didn't do their research quite thoroughly enough and you as the the subject matter expert will catch those things and you know be the editor and prevent them from being published. So I hope that this helps give you an idea for how you might do technical articles. Uh, just as a recap, really what it boils down to, and it, and it always boils down to this, is how do you ask the AI for the content? The important thing to think of here and what I did in the article brief is first I'm asking, you know, please write about how to add HTTP security headers to WordPress. But then just in case, I also describe what those headers are, you know, you would do the same thing, for instance, if you're talking about your business, you know, like, please write, like if you have a new product, I've, I've used this example before. Like if you have a new product, like let's say that you have a new bird feeder that, you know, this really awesome backyard bird feeder that's never been developed before. Um, and you name it birdie, for example. Uh, there's no chance that GPT-3 already knows what that is. So you have to kind of coach it a little bit. You might you might say something like, you know, Birdie is a revolutionary new backyard bird feeder that's squirrel proof and has 360 degree camera and stuff. You know, just describe it. You got to you got to feed the, that to the AI. If you if you suspect that you're asking for something that the AI might not be able to connect for you, then you have to add that in there. Um same thing is true if it's one of those situations where the content could be about several different things, kind of, you know, it's a, a more generic kind of concept or something that you're specifically talking about one genre, but it could be used in multiple different genres. You need to go and kind of give it clues that you're specifically referring to the genre that you're in. And over time, this is part of what I talk about in my previous video, where I talk about it's a skill. You know, once you get good at how you ask the AI for these things, you're going to start to be able to just blast through your content pretty quickly. Um, and as you can tell, I, you know, I haven't really spent that much time on this. Um, it's completely off the cuff. I'm not, I'm really good with WordPress, but I, I've never dug deep into, you know, adding headers and security things like this. Um, I just let WordPress and some other plugins handle that for me. So, uh, if you're the expert and you're, you find this to be on point, I hope that this article or this video guide helped you understand how you might use shortly to get what you want, even for technical articles, articles like this one. And, uh, until next time, take care.